Hello, what's your name and where are you from? Uh, my name is Ahmed and I'm serving in the YES Board of Egypt. So I'm basically Egyptian and Alexandrian. So I'm welcoming you here. Please tell me what means entrepreneurship for you? Um, innovation, but basically entrepreneurship uh, is coming from uh, an economical background on how to use uh, the minimum resources and to get a maximum output or a maximum uh, what you can get, whatever you can get from these inputs uh, in a way that can serve your society and yourself, but this is done as uh, none of non for profit and helps the people uh, to go on and go on and continue. You are an entrepreneur yourself. You are working with the mass media. Share with us and with the entire world, share with us what is your um, success story um, within your business. In fact, um, yes. When I joined the S, that affected my life completely and it helped me to just start my own business. Um, we are working on media and how to link media to the community and make it a, a real two-way communication. Uh, we are trying to involve the media in whatsoever we are doing in Yes Egypt here. But regarding my entrepreneurship uh, idea, it's like a culture magazine that's telling the people what is going on in Alexandria through themselves, which means that they, they send us an email or just they uh, post on our uh, Facebook account or our, our, our Twitter what they are planning to do and we are just circulating and promoting what they are doing and that enable people to get together and that's how they can do something together. Uh, what we are doing regarding media in Yes Egypt is that we are trying to involve media in what we are all whatever we are doing it's not us, it's not about our volunteers, it's not about people who are attending our events, it's about the Egyptians and the world. We are trying to teach people how to use media in order to have their own voices. When people know how to write a blog or how to uh, write uh, uh, an appropriate status on Facebook or an appropriate status on uh, Twitter uh, through 140 letters and they know how to uh, deliver their message, this is uh, a great, great achievement because people are able to create an idea and they are able to communicate with the people. Um, what is the greatest achievement of your, uh, as an entrepreneur? Uh, I think uh, staying sustainable and staying working uh, as a young entrepreneurship uh, while we were facing the uh, financial crisis, that was one of the main, uh, of the greatest achievements. But it's not mine, it's my team. But being being entrepreneur, how does that makes you feel? Uh, worried. Okay. Yeah, because uh, we have to go on, we have to complete, we have to continue, because people now are looking at what we are doing and are there, they are tracking, trying to do the same. Uh, and that's... Uh, make, Give, put a pressure on our shoulders that we have to be an example and we have to be a role model for the people because whatever they are doing, they are imitating or they are even copying and pasting. Uh, what are the characteristics of a model, <coughs> of an example, of a leader for the world, for the youth of the world? What are the characteristics that the leader should have? This is a strong question. <laughs> it's powerful. Um, it's how to deal with the teamwork. Okay. It's not about the, who got the idea or who is initiating. It's about how you are sharing and how the people are, put, are, are having their own variable input in whatsoever you are doing. A leader uh, should have his own words, but also he should listen to the teamwork. Uh, this is the difference between a leader and a manager. Tell me only one great achievement that you had being a uh, YES network member. I can't. We are having a lot. <laughs> uh, but I think that we are having a sustainable project since 2005 until now, which is the Alexandria International Model of UN, and it's considered like an incubator. Uh, each year we are just having almost around uh, 250 to, uh, between 250 and 300 young people uh, people who are joining this project uh, just as delegates. We are trying to select people who are having, uh, who, who, are, who don't have uh, appropriate skills that can, that can uh, meet the market demand. And we took them into this project and through a process, a long process that took, that take almost three months, they are, they have been, tra they are trained on different kinds of skills that enable them to start thinking 
on how to start their entrepreneurship idea or even start to be involved in another teamwork for somebody else who can, can uh, create another initiative and work on, uh, through it. I thank you very thank much. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay.